force is the term used to describe the level of gravity exerted on your body. Where you're sitting right now or standing right now is considered 1G. But when you step into the cockpit of a Thunderbird, get ready to dial it up to 9. And that's what I did. And the only warning you get is when the pilot says, here come the G's. Here we go. Here comes the G's. Oh! <laughs> a vertical vector virgin on a 6.5G rocket ride to 11,000 feet. I think you said, here come the G's, as the G's were already coming. Yeah, sorry about that. I was a little late on that one. <laughs> Less than 20 seconds in, we leveled out and took it all in. The world looks a whole lot different up here, doesn't it? And that's when things got rolling. All right, ready and rolling. One, <laughs> two, three, four, uh, well. and let's recover. Every maneuver the Thunderbirds do, we did over the skies of northern Indiana. All right, here we go. This is the four-point roll. Hold on tight. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Go right into wow. the eight-point roll since you're doing so good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and recover. Wow! But this one-hour flight took a three-hour prep because keeping your head while you're in the clouds takes a lot of breathing and squeezing. So big, deep breath. Start your squeeze. One, two, three. Good. Two, three. Good and relax. Ah. Still feeling that squeeze to the brain? Yeah, a little okay. bit. It's a technique used to keep the blood in your brain while gravity in the plane try to force it out. First thing we're going to do is a nice, easy loop up over the top. That's only about four G's, so nothing. Major Scott Cheetah Pets, he's my pilot today, and he knows G's. 19 years of service, a veteran of three tours of duty in Iraq, and now a Thunderbird with just a few months left. Thunderbirds have a clock on their back. They time out after two years. There's a lot of unique ways to become a Thunderbird, uh, but the biggest thing is do you have the right mentality to you know, be on the road all but 36 hours a week some, sometime, and is your family going to be supportive? And um, Because it's, it's not a personal experience, it's a family experience. And it's a family on the road, pilots, mechanics, public relations, 60 men and women on that team working to keep those planes in the air, recruit and represent all those serving in the armed forces. Forces that use the same types of jets and similar techniques. But yeah, there's a lot of relative stuff. Now, there's no reason to do four aileron rolls yeah. in combat. Right. Um, but yeah, a lot of the maneuvers and the precision we do stem from something. And Thunderbirds take precision seriously, using points on the ground to keep their maneuvers in line. You can tell my, by my wing, uh -huh. if I want to adjust it and put it on that road. And I'd stick it on that road, push forward, yeah. top rudder, and that would be, we're not coming off that line. You see how it stays on there? Wow, yeah. There you go. As for me. All right, here we go. Here come the Gs. For those of you who are keeping score, I hit nine Gs. Fast, go faster, 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 oh. faster, faster. Stop. There you go. Nice job, man. Thank nice you. Job. Got to take the controls right, the and kept my lunch where it belongs. Dude, thanks for doing such an awesome job flying with me. Normally, most people don't do near as well as you did. <laughs> I appreciate it. And I got to be a Thunderbird for a day. God, I got the greatest job in the world, yeah? You sure do, Major Pets. You sure do. The Fort Wayne Air Show Saturday and Sunday at the 122nd Fighter Wing. It runs from 10 until 5 both days. Planes start flying at 11 with the Thunderbirds as the main attraction. Their admission is free.